previously on console specials. But now for the final event and why I did this video. A couple of months ago I got over a strange game. A game that I for weeks searched information about, but still nothing. The only thing I know about this one, that it is a pirate game, made by some company called Video Devon or Dion. The game itself is called Video Deon, I guess, as I can read for the badly aged sticker on the front of the card. Anyway, the game holds 76 games in this one card. Well, this is not something new. I know many games that are 3 games in one, 5 or 6 or 10 games in one, not even to talk about Action 52, but 76 games. So now that I opened this Pandora's box, I better check it out and see what's evil to be left out from this piece of shit. I'll get back to you in a while. Well, I'm back to settle the score with a 76 in one game, We did it on, almost a year later. As Alex from the past just told us, this game contains 76 games in one cartridge. And like he also told you, I still don't know much about this game, uh, besides it was put up on eBay for a huge amount of cash. I don't know if it got sold or not, but maybe, just maybe, I'm sitting on a game made of gold. Or shit. Who knows? You may also see some changes in the room. This is one of the reasons that it took me so long to make this goddamn video. But we can take a look around another day. I also made some calculation before I shot this video. If I gave a one minute review each and every game in this video, um, it would be like 76 minutes. So we don't have the time for that. But I'm gonna show every single game in this cartridge. But don't expect it to be any longer reviews. Whatever, let's just put it in and see if this is a decent game or if it's just a lot of waste of time. So the menu has 8 pages, each holding 10 games except for the last page, that I'm guessing only holding 2, if I've done my math correctly. Let's just start with the first game. Ooh, pinball. You could just pin my balls to the wall, cause this my friends is nothing like the pinball machines I was used to. We all know the game, you should weigh the ball to the table and then collect score by pressing the triggers to the right and left to make the ball bounce up again. Nothing new here, except I never seen penguins, seals and hat chickens on a pinball table before. Whatever, next. Urban Champion. And it's a two play game, huh. Let's test this. Okay, it's a fighting game, and the goal is to knock your opponent to its ass. The controls are kind of funny, cause uh, it actually feels like your character is drunk, and from the looks of it, it seems so. Come on, come on, come on! Yeah! So when you knock your opponent down, you progress uh, from the snack bar to the bookstore. I don't exactly understand the rules, but who gives a shit anyway? It actually is a decent game. Wondering how long you can fight before the cops will get your ass. Ha <laughs> ha holy shit! They actually came! Oh, just standing here, look away. I done nothing. Shit, next. Let's see. Dig Dug. Well, this sounds familiar. And it is also. This is a classic game for NES. I never really understand the rules of this game, but you need to dig your way around the screen avoiding enemies and lure them under the rock so they die. But watch out, so you don't get crushed under your own traps. You can also cast out a rope or a hook, just like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, and blow up your enemies literally. And I also really love that the music totally stops when your character doesn't move. It's an okay game, nothing more. What now? Excite Bike. I love this game. A true NES classic. Some of the viewers wasn't even born when this game hit the market, but I can give you a clear hint what this game is all about. Think of Trials Evolution, but send it back 25 years and there you have it. One of the first motocross games. Is it any good? You bet your ass it's good. It's like doing it for real. Well, maybe not, but it's good. It's good. Next game. Okay, Mabby. Uh, or not. Mappy? Couldn't they spell it in the right way or what? Maybe the B were upside down turned into a P. Stupid punks. Oh my fucking god. 
This is horrible. There's almost no way to avoid getting killed by those pink fluffy cats. No way I'm doing this. Next. Circus Chablis. Or could it be Charlie? Don't know, since the game doesn't have any title screen. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if this is cute or it's mentally retarded. You're a clown standing on a lion, jumping through burning hula hoops, making your way down the circus, which, by the way, would be the largest circus in the world. Maybe the camera is placed in the middle of the arena, turning as the clown is moving. I don't know. Why am I even thinking of this? Next. What? Mario Bros? No way. Well, it's actually the original Mario game, which you can play as a bonus feature in Super Mario 3. You know all this, so we can skip ahead. Ah, so now it's Super Mario. I'm not gonna talk about this game since it's a fucking pointless. If you don't know what this game is all about, then you really should either start to study game historia or find another hobby than games. Next! What the fuck? Key Kong Jr.? Oh! Did you mean Donkey Kong? And look, the title screen says Gorilla Free. Maybe they couldn't afford the license to Donkey Kong. I don't know. This is uh, one of the games that tormented my youth, and I still hate this game. Not that it is hard. Well, just a bit. But for some reason, I can't focus on the game with all these bees, flowers, monkeys, bug sprays and everything. Could never, will never, next. Ah, tennis. What a waste of your precious time. And the judge is no one else than Mario in a white hat. Actually, this is nothing more than just tennis, so let's not waste any time on this one. Here is another one. The main screen says Penguin. Oh, sorry. Pangan Adventure. <laughs> but the title screen says Antarctic Adventure. Anyway, it's sort of a racing game, but with a penguin, I guess. Skating through the landscape, collecting shrimps and stuff. But watch out for those big fluffy seals who are in the mood of some penguin breakfast. Nice skating music, though, I guess. Time for something else. Macross. At least I hope so, since the name of the game is in Japanese, so I couldn't be sure. Whoa! My high score is already 100,000. Thanks or whatever. So we are apparently a transformer named Valkyrie who's lost in space. This is the first and not the last space shooter I guess on this cartridge. My father once told me, if you have seen one booby, you have seen them all. I guess it goes with the same with space shooters. Who knows? Next. Time for some Kung Fu. Or Yi Ar Kung Fu Fa. Uh, cool. It's like Street Fighter 2, but for the NES. And a crap load worse. But it's playable. It's a hell lot better than Street Fighter 2010, I tell you that. Why is the control so fucking stiff? FUCK! Combat. Like in Combat Combat? Nope. Nothing like it. Just use your flying saucer to kill the earthlings and some spinning shit or whatever it was. Plain and boring. Give me something else, please. F1 Racer. Could it be a racing game? Yep. How I adore the simple old graphic we had 20 years ago. I wish it was like that in real life. As soon as one car bumps into another, it just explodes instantly. BOOM! BOOM, MOTHERFUCKER! Road Fighter, huh? You sure you didn't thought of Street Fighter when you came up with this title? It sure is mean the same thing, I mean. This wasn't really what I had in mind, but uh, okay. One more racing game. Instead of the time limit with checkpoints, you can run out of gas. Creative. Too bad that this game fucking sucks DONKEY BALLS! And now time for some Exerion. What is it? I don't have a fucking clue. Ah. Uh, like Spain's Invaders, with a weird graphic twist. Next game, please. Twimby. Okay. Uh, Space Invaders with other moving graphics, and oh, you're a bee. But wasn't the name Twimby? I can only see one. Where is my twin? This is false advertisement, and it doesn't make any sense either. Stupid.
Star Force. Now, why do I come to think of Star Fox? It's not. Fuck space invader ripoffs. What's up with the flickering screen from left to right? It's just annoying. Formation 2. Oh, sorry for the bad translation from the dude who did wrote this menu on this game. Formation C is it supposed to be. Destroy all alien weapons. Okay, sure. Oh shit, I recognize this one and trust me, this is one of the most fucked up controls for a game. One moment you're a slow grounded marine soldier, and the next one you morph into a jet plane. And how you do it? Seriously, I don't have a fucking clue. I don't know what I just did, transform or transform back, just tapping all the buttons randomly doesn't seem to work. Jumping doesn't help, shooting while jumping doesn't help, and hey, I have only two buttons to work with. Whatever, let's not dig deeper into this shit. Page 3, and the first game's out, drumroll, B-Wings! Let's choose continue even if I never played this before. It seems like you're some kind of aircraft and you get the opportunity to pick your weapon or something. Let's just go with the first one. Hey, what happened to my dino weapon? No, I'm just shooting missiles. Guess you can dive underwater. It's really hard to tell what is what since everything on the screen is a mismatch and the real issue is that the background lacks of depth. What is this? Where the fuck am I? Guess we never know. Next up is, holy crap, Ice Climber, better hope this is not a simple ripoff. Yep, it's the real deal. Now here's another timeless classic that you need to try if you have not. And also this one isn't uh, needed to be introduced more further, you know this shit. Here's Battle City. You can select and prefer stage, and okay, it's a tank game, almost like combat. You're the yellow one and the goal is to take out your opponent, the grey tanks. Destroy the surrounding to get closer to the enemy and take them out one by one. Kind of simple. What the fuck? They can respawn. Nah, that's not fair. Crap. This game we have the trust that it's called Mayong 4 since the title is Japanese. For this type of games that gives you no instruction and the language is not English or, uh, for me, Swedish, I just give the big finger to you. Fuck you, Mayong. Next. This, my friends, is the first Bomberman game. If you haven't played it, I suggest you give it a try, since it's an awesome game. My recommendation, since I'm not the greatest fan of Bomberman on the NES, would be Super Bomberman 3 on the Super NES. That game fucking kicks ass. It's the same structure in all Bomberman games. You go around, blow up bricks, collect power-ups and blow up your enemies, and also try not to blow up yourself. Really good game, actually. One more drum roll. Pac-Man! I'm surprised. I thought this cartridge would give me half-ass rip-off games, but the further we go into it, the more classic games we stumble up onto. I'm guessing I don't need to explain how to play this game. It's just basic as Super Mario. Next games called Galaza or Galaga. Mm, let's go with Galaga, cause it's such a fun word. Galaga, 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 Lady Gaga. Almost like a baby's first words. Oh no, another stupid space game. Give me a break from this please. Tell me why the fuck every single space game has to be the same. It's unbelievable that one game can be copied and released in so many different games. I'm glad that the space games isn't that popular anymore. Frontline. <laughs> what is this guy's problem? What the fuck has he done with his feet? It's like someone's cut off his Achilles heels and throw him out into the war. Well, fucktard, I don't care if you walk like a crippled retard. As long as you're breathing, you go out there and kill some Charlies. Now, move or die! Oh, I guess he chose to die. Too bad. Joust? Okay. It kind of reminds me of a mix between the original Super Mario Brothers and Balloon Fight, but on the back of an ostrich or a pelican. Fuck, this blows. Get ready when you spinach, because here is the old sailor hunk Popeye! You need to rescue all life from the bad guy, whatever his name is. And it's like the bad version of Donkey Kong when Mario has to rescue the princess. The only thing that I like about this one is the music. Sorry Popeye, but your spinach has expired. 
Milk and nuts? Wow. How about I dip my nuts in some milk and serve it? It would be almost as fun as this game. Even if it's kind of cute, I have a hard time to like it. The controls are so stiff that it's beyond belief. 1942 Most people like this one, I can understand why. But at this time I'm so tired to play flight and space simulators on the NES that I really don't have any energy to play this group. You get the concept just by looking at it. Othello. Okay, this is a board game and even if I don't understand the rules I know it's a lot of fun. But I'm more of a chess person and I consider it to be the best games of all time. And I mean chess. So that's why I can relate to Othello. But this is not the time to learn the rules. Maybe some other day. Load Runner 2. Even the menu doesn't say number 2. Whatever. I don't actually get the rules in this one. I'm guessing watch out for the frozen bad guys and collect the gold. Let's check out another game instead. Load Runner. Uh, this one could also be one or two, but who gives a shit? It's Load Runner. Plain and simple. Both fucking games. Here's the same thing, except the bad guys are moving. Wow. A lot of fun, right? Here's baseball! I give it six seconds to impress me. One, two, three, four, five, six, strike, you're out. From baseball to lunar ball. What's that? Sound like the moon had balls, and I get to play with them? Oh, it's pool. So I just don't call the game for what it is. I'm gonna be honest, I love playing pool, one of my favorite real life games, but always when you port this one to a console, it just gets bad. So bad, so really really bad. Only because you don't play pool on a fucking controller. Next game. What's next? Let's see, Ninja, like Ninja Gaiden? Oh god, please no. This is a weird ninja game. You run around throwing what looks like a boomerang, avoiding ninjas. Why the hell am I not a goddamn ninja? And the music, so awful. Here, listen. Just listen to that and act like you want to play this game. I had enough of this, that's for sure. Millipies! Holy moly! What's going on? Is the centipede on drugs? Why it's moving so fast? Crap. Arabian. <laughs> I want a game called uh, Swede. Okay. This is more like a ninja on a pirate ship. Not too shitty, except the music again. Oh, the bird in the sky just had a baby bird on the blink of a second. Dude, that's odd. Yay! Fucking balloon fight! At least a super awesome game. I even consider it one of the best games to the NES. This game I truly recommend everyone to play. Just fly off into the sky and tackle down the stupid penguins. So simple and so satisfying. We need to move on or else I'm gonna sit here and play this all day long. Check and pop. Or is it crack and pop? Ah, uh, a drug related game. Or not. I don't have a clue what I'm supposed to do besides fart out some red stuff out of my ass. But I think if Bubble Bobble and Pac-Man had a child, it would look like this. <laughs> I just farted myself to death. How fucking awesome wasn't that? Let's see it again. Another page. Okay, Galaxian. Okay, they mean Space Invaders. Next one, please. Here is Sky Destroyer. Hey, this was quite a good flight simulator. Top Gun style. I'm actually stunned. This actually looks good and the controls feels good too. Too bad I just can't hit one freaking enemy plane. But hey, I'm not a licensed pilot, so whatever. Uh, didn't we already have Mahjong? Yeah, so why bother about this one? Japanese text and shit. Next. Okay, first of all I'm gonna tell you, this is not the best game. Uh, I give you that. But it's quite a rare game, which I also happen to own separately. Devil World is a weird game, I've tried to understand, but still no success. 
It was made as a side project from Miyamoto, you know, the guy who created Mario and Zelda. So I really don't dare to criticize his work, but maybe he should stick to what he knows best and leave the experimental games to someone else, who I can pick on. Let's see, Binary World. You control two penguins, or actually the left one. The right one mirrors all your movements, uh, and the goal is to get uh, to the go. There you have it. Kind of fun, I have to admit. Oh, how cute. They are in love. Would you like to play with Pooh, Jan? Sorry, starting to get real tired of all these weird titles. Okay, now what the fuck did I just watch? Jumping cats catch by a crocodile. First game with an intro though. A bow shooting game with some kind of stupid animals on balloons and one in the basket. I can't explain the controls. They are kind of weird. That's all there is to say. Another space game! Yay! Warpman! A prehistorical FPS with one of the most annoying gun sounds I ever heard in my whole life. Listen. Shit, I can't take this anymore. Next game. Donkey Kong. Oh, it's Key Kong. Guess they couldn't afford to have the D, O and N letter. Okay, we all know this one. It's a Mario game, before he became Mario and was just called Jumpman. Goal is to rescue the princess like every other Mario game. Next. Here is Key Kong 2. Okay, Donkey Kong Jr. this time. Fucking titles. Just like the first game, but in this one, Mario is the bad guy and you are supposed to save Donkey Kong from him by climbing wines and watch out for dangers. Both these are considered classics, and yes, what else is there to say? Helicopter! It's like Top Gun with a carrier, but it's a overhead view with a chopper who's making farting sounds when he flies around. What a waste of time. I don't want to play this. Ninja 2. More like number 2. I can tell you the main problem with this game. A ninja is supposed to be smooth and fast. The controls in this game are the opposite. Making me feel more like a turtle less than a ninja. And I don't mean Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Just give me one decent ninja game. I'm truly disappointed. Clue Land! I know this is Clue Clue Land because I own this one. Also kind of a rare game. And it's special in the way how you move. And do I enjoy it you ask? Not a single bit. Maybe because I don't get the controls how to move correctly. I don't know. Next. City Connection. Seriously. Really guys? I don't have a fucking clue what to say about this one. It's a car game, in some weird way. Next. Ah, uh, burger time. I could really go for a burger right now. Uh, what the fuck is going on? Dude! Did a sausage just rape me? What the fuck? Look at this one more time and tell me I'm wrong. This is seriously not cool. No! Not a golf game. No matter how much you try, golf is just golf. Every goddamn time, it's the same. Next. Go bang! Is it four in a row? Nope. Is it Othello? Nope. What is the fucking rules of this one? Screw this to hell and beyond. Next game. Thank god for some decent wrestling. I need a break from all these shitty sport games. Oh, it's like Mega Man. <laughs> oh, the controls are dull, but I like this in a way because it's so cute and ugly at the same time. And I also think I can spot some blood there. What? You say? In a Nintendo game? No, that's cool. Another space game, Star Jester. Fuck off, Space Invaders ripoff. Karateka. Run, run, run. Die. The end. 
next game. Ah, oh, my favorite, Duck Hunt. Too bad that the light gun doesn't connect with this game cart, or maybe it's broken. Well, maybe another time, you know at least how it works. Okay, this is sad. Wild Gunman and Hugan's Alley only works with the light gun, so I'm unable to show you these games. Sorry folks, not my fault. Next is Mac Rider, and it's a fun motorcycle game, almost like Rad Racer. Only that you're driving a motorbike and can shoot, but on what? Other players just come from behind ramming up your ass. I give up. Next. King of Ghosts. Why does that ring a bell? Oh no! Fuck no! I'm not touching this shit again! It's exactly the same game as Chubby Cherub. If you want to learn more of this game, go see my baby game episode. Because I'm not playing this filthy shit again. NEVER! Gyrodyne. Just another overhead view chopper game. Let's move on to find a more exciting game rather than this. We have all played this game in some version or another. Oh fuck me, how many ninja games are there on this cartridge? Please say this is a good one. Decent, but far from good. Shit, I give up on ninjas now. Magmax? Isn't that a porn star or something? Oh, this is serious. You're a Star Wars battle cruiser. No enemies. There's one. Here's plenty. I just got legs. Like an half Imperial Walker. Getting bored now. Uh, let's find another game. Sparta. This mm. is Sparta. <laughs> Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. This is just Kung Fu, probably one of the worst NES games in the library. Let's move on to the last page. Here we have the first official game with a Mario name on it. How can I put this for the one who's never seen it? It's a uh, hurry the fuck up and wreck the shit before you die kind of game. Try saying that fast 10 times. Well, test the game if you can, it's kind of good. Elevator action. Uh, almost at the end now. Oh, what a shitload of fuck for a game. The controls are stupid, and I think it's a super lame ripoff of the first Die Hard movie. Well, at least you get the shoes on this time, I hope. Next game. Oh, only four left. Sivius, do I really need to say anything? Feels like we had the same game now in the video about a hundred times. Let's jump ahead instead. Arcanoid. Ah. I remember this one from my childhood. Loved it then, love it now. But I must admit that I liked it better on an old school computer with Windows 95 or DOS rather than on the Nintendo. Even if I'm more of a console person than a computer gamer. Well, let's head on so we can end this now. Galt! Get 100 enemy parts to destroy Drag. Okay, and who the fuck is Drag? Uh, I changed my mind. I don't give a shit who that is. Let's just show the final game. Okay, it's been a long journey, and I'm really happy to know that we end on good terms with this cartridge. With Tetris you can never go wrong. This is a game so classical that I played this as a child, and I'm still playing it 20 years later as an adult. Say what you want about Russians, they aren't big in the game industry, but I think we can all agree that the one single game they did release, they did know what they were doing. So addicting. Well, I'm gonna wrap this one up before I spend the rest of the day with Tetris. 76 in 1 was not so bad that I thought. Sure it did have more shit than good games on it, but the balance between good and bad were nice. It's not like it was Action 52 or something that bad. I still don't know much info about the game, where it came from or what the value is. But one thing is for sure. I'm glad to have it in my collection as the black sheep, that you know will piss you off if you want to, and at the same time positively can make you happy. That's all for this game, and now 
Let's set a new high score in Tetris.